mm, no, I'm not gonna do it. I will not do it. It's a cheap sight gag, and frankly, my audience is above it, and so am I, all right? You, so, you did it for John Wesley. I know I did it for John Wesley. That's different, all right? That was for a good reason. This is not that, okay? I'm not gonna do it. I absolutely, unequivocally, will not do it. Okay, hi. I'm a Sunday school teacher. All right, last week I asked my son, no, I'm not doing a voice. I'm not gonna do it. This is enough. Last week I asked my Sunday school class, uh, you know, if they thought Noah did a lot of fishing on the ark. How could he, replied Billy, with only two worms. I told you it wasn't funny. It's not funny. None of this is funny. It doesn't work, all right? And why does a Sunday school teacher have to be a woman, all right? Lots of men are Sunday school teachers. I'm a Sunday school teacher. And this, the boa, inexplicable. I've never seen a Sunday school teacher wear a boa to class. It's sexist. It's funny. Whatever. Let's do. We're talking about Sunday school on this episode of Chuck Nose Church or whatever, all right? Originally, Sunday schools were literally schools. They were places where poor children could learn to uh, read. Right? Some historians point to uh, St. Mary's Church in Nottingham as the place the first Sunday school may have been opened in 1751. Now in 1769, Hannah Ball from Buckinghamshire, England founded a school as well. But it was Robert Rakes, editor of the Gloucester Journal and an Anglican evangelical, who became the movement's biggest promoter in Britain in the 1780s and soon spread to America. Now, religious denominations and non-denominational organizations alike were quickly on board to create Sunday schools. You see, uh, the Industrial Revolution meant uh, many children spent all week in the factories, working long, long hours, and Saturday was actually part of the work week. So, Sunday was the only time for these children to be educated in school. Now this prompted Christian philanthropists uh, who wanted these children out of a life of illiteracy to get them into Sunday school. Now the Bible was the textbook uh, used for learning to read and children learned to write by copying scriptures. And teaching Christian morality and virtues, well, that was always uh, another major goal. Now the early 1800s uh, marked the, the spread of Sunday schools in America and within decades they were encouraged everywhere. Sunday school attendance was commonplace and soon it was an accepted part of childhood all around the world. By the 1870s in both uh, Britain and America when compulsory state education was established reading and writing were learned on weekdays at school and Sunday school curriculum was limited to religious education. Still many parents continued to believe regular Sunday school attendance was an essential part of uh, childhood. And although Sunday school attendance has declined, uh, many reasons given, growing secular society, uh, other options on Sundays, despite all of the obvious factors, if we are diligent about meeting children where they are today, with all the crazy distractions and competing demands, Sunday school will not end anytime soon. There you go. To learn more, you can ask your pastor or your Sunday school teacher, perhaps. You can tell them Chuck sent you. There's still some on my lips in there. Some of my teeth. I feel like I had some of my teeth. I feel like I taste it. <laughs>